So today, I'm gonna to show you guys exactly how to increase your photography prices, work less, and still get paid. And we're gonna do that right now. Warning, you will lose clients. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I am Ryan Hall. Like I said at the beginning of my video, I'm gonna show you how to exactly increase your photography prices the right way, and also work less and still get paid for it. I run a photography workshop, a studio workshop, and I always ask my, stu my students one question. What is the biggest problem that you come across as a photographer or in your business? Pricing. They don't know how to charge what they want or there's a lot of competition out there that makes it kind of hard. So one of the answers were photographers charging too low. In other words, you are bidding on a job and you get another photographer that is charging less than what you want to charge. This is a common problem that's in the photography industry at the moment. Unfortunately, it's happening. Given a low price, then they're gonna be seen as low quality. That's what you need to understand when it comes down to photographers who are basically low balling. <laughs> it happens, don't worry about it. The other answer was they don't believe the quality of their work is good enough to charge the price that they want. Now this one, I, 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 I've gone through this. I used, I used to feel like, feel like this. We'll get to that topic later. And the last answer was, they're not sure how to actually price their self or their, pack, their packages. See, I like this one, because I'm gonna show you guys a little sketch of how you can overcome that one there. But before I do go on, if you, if you like what you're hearing so far and you're ready to hear my solution to all these answers, press subscribe. I won't get it if I don't ask. So if you don't mind, just press subscribe like as well also leave a comment below if you're suffering from any other problems just like these or anything else and we can see if we can come to a solution with them as well so my solution to the first answer where photographers are basically lowballing is don't put yourself in that category if someone is willing to basically lower their price just to get the job then they will be seen as low quality photog photographer in other words their work won't be seen as a high quality level does it doesn't matter if they if they present it and it looks it if your price ain't matching your, um, the level of your work then there's a problem there so if you're so if you yeah i'm talking to you if you're charging at a good price and you don't want to drop your price then don't do it do not drop your price. I'm, not, I'm actually telling you, don't drop your price because if you do, you're gonna regret it. For the second one of, you don't believe your work is out of value to the price that you wanna charge. This one kind of hits hard to, like, it, 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 it hits home. I used to basically think that about myself and then I just kind of, I kept working on my my craft to where I believed it was good good enough to basically, it was of, of, it was of the value that I wanted to charge. Um, so I think with this one, it is the most I can say is just believe in yourself, just keep working on your craft. One thing I want to tell you there's photographers out there with very, very low quality of work and they get a high ticket job, and that's because they know how to market themselves, they know how to put themselves in front of well, through the door to the right people and build that relationship, build that network. That's what you need, you need to do. So, your work. You may not feel your work is of value, but the other person will feel like you're of value. So in other words, I'm basically try, trying to say, sell yourself, not your work. Your work is a bonus. It comes with you. Everyone can take a photo. We've got iPhones out here that can take a photo. People are making money from that alone. It's, it's you. Believe in yourself. Go out there. Network. Meet a lot of people and sell you as a person. That's all I can say to that one. Now, the third answer was, not sure how to price themselves or not sure how to price their packages. First and foremost, all you need to do, you need to cover your monthly out outgoings. Work out your monthly outgoings, add a bit more onto that. There's your packages right there. That was a bit loud, so if it's loud, I do apologize. So those are basically the problems that came up in my workshop. So now I'm gonna show you how to increase prices, work less, as well as still get paid more. Just know you will lose clients. So let's create a scenario. I charge £500 for a photo shoot. I need 10 a month in order to break even as well as to gain a little profit. I increase my prices to £850. You're thinking, okay, cool. Get 10 bookings on £850. I've increased my prices quite a bit. Wrong. So with the £350 increase from £500 to £850, doing this, I've lost two clients. So I've gone from 10 clients to eight. So before I was making 5,000 pounds, I've increased my prices to 850. 
I'm only getting eight clients now. I am making 6,800. That's 1,800 more than what I was getting when I had a lower price and working more to get more clients. So let's recap. Before, I was on 500 pounds per photo shoot with 10 clients. Now, I'm on 850 pounds per photo shoot with eight clients and I'm getting paid more and having to work not as much as I would to get 10 clients. Do you see what I mean by you can basically increase your prices, lose clients and work less and still get paid more? It's that simple, trust me. You can go out on Google, you can research it, you can look to see if if what I'm saying is incorrect. It's not, it's kind of, it's kind of basic knowledge when it comes to pricing. But not everyone is all clued up or not everyone has the information. I didn't have the information until I, I, I was taught it and now I'm sharing it with you. So that's how you basically increase your prices. It's that simple, trust me. But before I do go, I just want to give a personal me message from me to you because the answer that I got really touched me. Don't bother yourself or don't be concerned with other photographers. Focus on you. Only you can build your business. They won't. Increase your network, increase your marketing. If you feel like you're working good enough, believe in yourself and practice, practice, practice. And on top of that, just charge what you believe you're worth. Trust me, someone's out there that will pay what you're charging. But if you are in the UK and you want to learn more about XYZ of your photography business, come down to my workshops. The link is in the description below. Book your space for my next one. Other than that, sign up to my newsletter. I literally, um, I don't really spam emails, but when I do send out emails, it's the next workshop dates along, along with YouTube videos just like this. Listen, I hope that this video has helped you basically elevate your business or give you a better insight into what you can do in your business. But I am Ryan Hall and this is my video on how to increase your prices the right way. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like, drop a comment below. Um, but look out for my next video, alright?